Hey guys, this is Core here doing another Halo 3 action figure review. Today I'm reviewing the Series 8 long awaited Marine action figure. And the reason I say long awaited is because um, the Marines are actually supposed to be released within Series 3, but they end up uh, they were end up pushed back. They were got they got pushed back and uh, now they are in Series 8 finally. And I'm just really glad they didn't come out with Series 6, because it probably would have ended up being a terrible figure. But, um, yeah, it's a very, very nice figure. Very awesome. Um, start out with what he comes with. He comes with a battle rifle. And it's not those small battle rifles that they gave out with, uh, like, the ODSTs from Series 2. It's actually the big, the nice-sized one, so that way the Spartans can hold it and not look really weird with that uh, weapon in their hand. And the detail on the battle rifle is very nice. There's a nice little blue scope here. And, um, nice little, uh, nice black and gray finish on it. So, it's a very cool weapon. Um, the Marine also comes with a, uh, pistol. A little magnum that is attached onto his side via a peg. Just like Sergeant Johnson from, Sergeant Johnson from, uh, Series 5. And that just clicks right in there very nicely. It's not going to fall out. You don't have to worry about any of that. And then he also comes with a very nice, highly detailed backpack, which um, the backpack is just kind of like a darker green. Then his uh, normal color has a telephone. It has like these little buttons and a computer screen. And even has like a little rollout mat like for like a sleeping bag or something, which is really cool. Um, one thing you have to be careful about, too, is this antenna right here. Because when you take it out, when you take the marine out of the packaging, I will show you. Because I actually have the packaging. Where are you at for me the packaging? Ah, here we go. So I'm gonna take the camera off here. So this is the packaging for the marine. Um, and the packaging is really cool. You see a nice little new character side here with the picture of the marine and the marine infantry, blah blah blah. But when you take them out of the packaging. Um, inside the packaging, the antenna is encased in this little, well actually you're probably not going to be able to see it, but it's encased in basically plastic, and when you slide the antenna out of it, sometimes the antenna will rub against that plastic part, and you'll see, uh, like right here, see how that little bottom part's a little white? That's because when you take the, uh, antenna out, when you go to slide the figure out of the packaging, this antenna will rub against the plastic and scrape some of the paint off, so... Um, I've seen a lot of people's reviews to where they have little spots all over the antenna. So I made, uh... Made sure that when I take the Marine out, um... You're very careful... You have to very carefully slide him out of the packaging and not just kinda... You know, scrape this antenna against that plastic that's that it's encased in. And that will definitely look a lot better because you don't want the antennas for the Marines all clear looking because that's, you know, it takes away from the realism of the figure. And, um, you know, it's still a very nice figure. Um, it has, like, 26 moving parts. Woohoo! And the only thing that's a problem with the Marine is they, uh,. Well, there's a couple problems with it, actually, but they have these shoulder pads. They're actually supposed to be uh, reverse, like they're supposed to be the opposite way. These parts are supposed to be facing up. And they, that's a factory error on every Marine they've made. All of the Marines are made that like, like that. You can fix them by uh, heating them up and switching the pads. Like you can see in this the picture of this Marine, how his uh, shoulder pads are face up, and they're not you know, pointing down. Not really a big deal to me, though. I still think the figure looks cool. And, uh, that's really the only thing that matters to me, as long as it looks good and it has good articulation, I can do a lot with it, as far as making a stop motion. Um, and as far as looking good, this figure looks amazing. They did a really nice job with the detail. I like the orange, uh, sunglasses he has, along with the, uh, little antenna. And his helmet is very nicely detailed. And he even has a, you can actually see hair inside of his uh, helmet, which is also another cool feature. You know, all the detail the better in my opinion, or more detail the better I guess. Um, he has pretty decent articulation. 
His uh, arms can rotate 360. Um, his hands or his arms bend up and down. They don't have the swivel joint like Sergeant Johnson to where this forearm piece can swivel around 360. But uh, it's not a big deal. And instead of his hands being on hinge wrists, they're on ball joints now. Which, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. But they're both pretty much the same thing, really. Um, some people prefer the ball joints. Some people prefer the hinge wrists. I could really care less. Um, his waist, it's a nice little twisting articulation, doesn't really go up and down much. His head, he can look up and down a little bit, not too much though, because uh, the armor and the helmet is kind of blocking the articulation. He can look over the side and do 360, but you can't really look up and down too much. Well, you can look down, it's not up. Um, his legs, um, they don't really twist straight out too well, but, uh, you know... You can get him in some nice cool poses. Knee joint, which also swivels. And then the uh, feet are on ball joints. Which the feet are very nice. They, uh, unlike some of the f uh, characters' feet, like Dare and uh, Jerome, where they don't really give you a lot of articulation to help pose, I like this the feet on the ball joints because you can actually, you know, twist them over or twist them that way so you can make them stand in different positions and the way you move their feet will help balance the figure as far as how you're posing them. And he doesn't have that annoying feature like Sergeant Johnson had when you'd move his arm and stuff like that, his arms would pop out. These ones stay nice and secure. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the exact same figure as Sergeant Johnson except uh, different head sculpt and a slightly different articulation and only the different paint is this little thing right here is blue this is yellow on his and uh... The shoulder pads are facing a different way but uh... still he's very cool very nice figure to have in your collection i'd recommend getting a bunch of these because they're great army builders um, a lot of people have problems with him holding the battle rifle and other weapons, but I have not had a problem with my marines. As you can see, um, I'll get this marine to hold his real quick. Just kind of put him in a chilling position. You know, whatever. Nothing too fancy right now. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have problems with him holding a battle rifle and stuff, and you really have to kind of work with it and uh, kind of adjust him to his articulation because articulation is a bit limited for him to hold weapons but you can do some good stuff with him like I got that marine holding an assault rifle that one's uh, holding an SMG that one in the back's got a shotgun and the small shotguns actually work really well with the marines it's a really easy weapon for them to hold um, this one's holding his pistol you can actually hold the marines hold their pistols really well it just slides right in no problems with him holding that and I got another guy you know with assault rifle and stuff so yeah they all look really cool and they look really cool with the Master Chief kinda of behind him Sergeant Johnson uh, so yeah um, I would recommend getting a bunch of these figures and uh, you know be patient with the articulation and uh, you know work with them a little bit and then eventually they will uh, you know turn out and be a, a good figure <laughs> so yeah uh, series 8 marine pick them up pick up a couple of them because everyone's gonna want a bunch of them I can see these guys getting rare like the uh, series 2 ODST is pretty quick because everyone's gonna want multiple marines so um, get them while you can find them and uh, yeah that's my review that's all I gotta say uh, check out my channel I got other Halo 3 action figure reviews and other cool things I'm doing stop motions and all that good stuff so check out my channel and I will see you guys in the next video and you know if you have any questions feel free to comment them or send me a message or whatever so yeah bye